both Republicans and Democrats, established a role for government in America that said that, yes, we will have a free economy, but we will also have a strong government who, through regulations and taxes, will control the free economy and, through a series of government programs, will take care of those in our society who are falling behind. That was a vision crafted in the 20th century by our leaders. And though it was well-intentioned, it was doomed to fail from the start. It was doomed to fail from the start first and foremost because it forgot that the strength of our nation begins with its people and that these programs actually weakened us as a people. You see, almost and forever, it was institutions and society that assumed the role of taking care of one another. If someone was sick in your family, you took care of them. If a neighbor met misfortune, you took care of them. You saved for your retirement and for your future because you had to. We took these things upon ourselves in our communities, in our families, in our home, in our churches, in our synagogues. But all that changed when the government began to assume those responsibilities. All of a sudden, for an increasing number of people in our nation, it was no longer necessary to worry about saving for security because that was the government's job. For those who met misfortune, that wasn't our obligation to take care of them. That was the government's job. And as government crowded out the institutions in our society that did these things traditionally, it weakened our people in a way that undermined our ability to maintain our prosperity. 